What is going on, YouTube averts? John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another Top 5 on this glorious Top 5 Friday. And I'm so excited today to be talking to you about one of the greatest artists, one of the greatest guitarists of all time, Carlos Santana. We're talking his Top 5 songs, so let's get right into it, guys. At number 5... You got to change your email. Evil Ways, the first big hit off of his self-titled debut album from 1969. This is a song that is just so catchy. You got to sing along with it. You got to change your evil ways, baby. So cool. And you just right off the bat, you the first thing you hear is that percussion. And Santana, the band, was known for having three percussionists at all times, the main drummer and then you know, someone playing timbales and then someone on another percussion instrument and then the rest of the band. And that really gave you uh, the the Mexican influence of Santana. That's where he's from, which he brought uh, just kind of Latin music to the masses via his band when uh, they hit Woodstock in 69. And this is one of those songs that just everyone connected to. Um, he didn't write the song. I forget who wrote it originally, but uh, I believe a Mexican artist, Willie Bobo, did it a few years prior, and he did his own take on it, and uh, one of the best. So that is at my number five. Now, guys, at number four... <laughs> Samba Pati from the album Abraxas, which came out a year later in 1970. I'm telling you, like that 69 to 71 period is really just the best of Santana. And this is no exception. This is an original Santana song, and it is just instrumental. And it's a beautiful one at that. It's it's slow, uh, but it's it's just got so much passion. He's really one of this is why he's one of the best guitarists of all time. You can just feel his emotion through his guitar. Um, and you can tell it's him playing guitar, which is really something when you think about it. But um, I think in an interview, he even said of this song in particular that he once heard it on the radio. And when he heard it, he could hear himself. And he thought that very thing like, man, I have kind of my own sound. And uh, it's true to this day, you can still tell it's him. So Beautiful song, great ballad. That's number four. Now at number three. Soul Sacrifice, another great instrumental, again from his uh, first album, Santana. This is the closing track, and man, six plus minutes, but worth every second of it. This one really shows off the band in total, what they're all capable of. All of them so talented, uh, especially the organ player that, ha that plays the Hammond B3. His solos on this are just incredible, really just, just as strong as Santana's solos. And just the vibe of it, like you can tell that this, and especially in those days, a lot of things were recorded live in the studio. You just get that feel that... This was very organic, everyone playing at once, and it's the kind of thing that you can't really duplicate in a, a studio environment, uh, you know, with people playing at different times. Uh, it's just, you can tell they're playing off of each other. It's very playful. It's, uh, it's just so great. One of the coolest instrumentals in rock music of all time, in my opinion. And that is just at number three. So now we are at number two. Got a black magic woman. Black Magic Woman slash Gypsy Queen. This song is so cool. And another one that he did not write. This actually is a Fleetwood Mac song, believe it or not. A lot of people know Fleetwood Mac from the 70s era, but there was actually a previous version of the band in the 60s with guitarist Peter Green, who's the one who wrote this song. And Santana took it and totally made it his own, especially tagging on the Gypsy Queen portion, which is kind of like this jazz fusion thing that is such a cool way to end the song off. But man, who doesn't love this song? It's just one of the most classic rock songs of all time. Got a black magic woman. I mean, come on, who doesn't love it? It's got uh, just so much soul and passion. Again, Santana, a singular voice on the guitar. Uh, just incredible. I love it. And that is at number two. So now, folks, we are at number one. 
Oye Como Va, the song that comes right after Black Magic Woman on Abraxas. I love this song so much, and I think a lot of people probably wouldn't argue this being at number one. It is just, uh, it's got that great rhythm. And for those that don't know any Spanish, Oye Como Va means, hey, how are you doing, basically. And this is another song that Santana did not write. He doesn't write a lot of his own material unless they're instrumentals usually. Uh, this song was actually a Tito Puente song from the early 60s. And Tito Puente, uh, being an artist from another continent, but also of Latin descent, uh, was very appreciative when Santana kind of made this even more popular, bringing uh, Latin music to the masses, as I said earlier. And man, just the way that this song builds and that solo at the end, which it's, um, it's almost kind of a simple guitar solo that he does. But again, with so much passion that he puts into each note, the way he bends a note, there's not many other artists that do it that way. And uh, it's just such a fun song. I mean, that's the thing with Santana is like there's so much joy in his music. And I think that's really the Latin portion coming out and uh, what he's done uh, for Latin music for artists like Tito Puente that came before him uh, that really appreciate this. It's, uh, it's really a beautiful thing to see. And there's been so many more artists that have come after him now that are continuing to spread the, the great rhythms of, you know, South America, Mexico, Puerto Rico, uh, so much great music out there. And Santana is one of the pioneers that, uh, you know, makes it available. So thank you, Santana. And uh, thank you guys for watching my top five. Let me know in the comments below, what did I miss? I'm sure I missed plenty because he's got so many great songs out there. He's still out there doing his thing. As a matter of fact, he has a new album that's being released today. Uh, so check it out. I'm sure it's going to have some great stuff. And uh, be sure to check out on this channel. Uh, please subscribe because we have top fives every Friday, album reviews, Heart of an Artist, interviews, and so much more. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Check out some of my other content that you can see on the screen now. Thank you again for supporting Johnny Radio. Take care and I'll see you soon.